Hey gents, today I want to talk about one of the original videos that I was going to do when I started this channel two and a half years ago. I'm finally going to discuss my findings after sleeping on five different mattresses. Your standard spring mattress with a pillow top from any mattress store, a very high-end Tempur-Pedic mattress, and then all of the sleep data that I collected on both of those combined with my Casper, Lisa, and Tufta Needle mattresses, which I each slept on for 21 days back in uh, January of 2015 when I started my channel. Originally, I envisioned this video as my magnum opus. I was going to take down the traditional mattress industry, talk about their high margins and their oversaturation of mattress stores, the fact that they don't let you comparison shop between models of stores because Sealy has slightly different model numbers between each of them and then the markups and everything else. And so I was convinced two years ago that if I did this video, it was going to be the best performing one on my channel and everybody was going to watch it and can be convinced that Mattress Firm and uh, Sealy's and all its other companies were just total shams, uh, but I, didn't put the work in. As I continuously researched and rewrote this video, my script was like seven pages long. And so today what I want to give you is a shorter, sweeter version of that because in the last two years, I feel this market has been validated. If you're watching this video, you're likely already convinced that you want to buy a mattress from an online shop and you're just trying to choose which one in between. If you are watching this video and you are skeptical of these online shops, uh, there are great podcasts and articles that talk about the mattress industry, why they're scared to death of Casper, Lisa, Tufta Needle, and all these other companies that are popping up. One thing is for absolute certain after watching this video, if you start to notice all the mattress stores that line the major streets within any suburbs, uh, you'll see how many there are of these companies. And what's amazing is almost all of them are owned by one giant company. But I don't want to get into all that today. What I do want to present you with is my findings after sleeping with a few of these different mattresses so that I can try and help inform you if you're trying to decide between any of these mattresses. Typically on my channel, I review the best menswear on the internet. So if you're already subscribed, thank you. And if you found this video searching for mattresses, but you want to learn about the best menswear on the internet, please subscribe. I do mostly those menswear videos, but I also do some off topic ones like this one. I've also taken a look at my BMW i3 after driving it for six months. Give a thumbs up if you know the value and importance of sleep. It is absolutely one of the best things that you can do for your body and for your mind. If you do want to pick up a mattress from any of these companies, I'll put links below to discount codes that you can get $50 off. That also supports the channel. It keeps these videos independent, which I really appreciate. Like I said, I started this experiment under the premise of mattresses are overpriced. There are great online companies that are producing mattresses. The in-store, like lay on a bed to see how it feels while wow, there's big fluorescent lights and a salesperson staring at you is not the best way to test a mattress. Each of these online companies offer in-home trials, 30 or 100 days which is the absolute best way to figure out after sleeping on a mattress for a month, is it the best sleep that you can get? Each of these companies were also founded on that same premise. Mattresses are very expensive and $900 for a king mattress with no uh, frivolous markup or super specific technology in order to justify you spending $2,000 on a mattress. I'm looking at you, dad. Uh, they spend uh, a huge amount of money on like a really high-end Tempur-Pedic and it was the worst sleep that he, my mom, and I ever had on. And so getting a great mattress shouldn't break the bank. So with all that out of the way, I want to talk about my experiment. When my wife and I got married, we needed a new mattress. We had a pillow top spring mattress from you know, Mattress World, Mattress Firm, Original Mattress, wherever I bought it from, which was five or six years old, and we needed a new queen mattress. So whenever we got married, I said, let's do this experiment. Ultimately, we needed two mattresses. We needed one for our room and one for the guest room. And the third, we ended up giving to my mother-in-law. So I bought a Lisa, a Casper, and a Tufta Needle mattress. I slept on each of them for two weeks, as they recommend, because you need to, uh, you need at least a week to adjust to a different type of mattress. Each of the mattresses have their own unique foam density or properties, which make it the overall best mattress that you can buy. And the main data point for all of this is I sleep with a sleep tracker every single night. This is the Livings Activity Watch. And so for two years, I slept on that spring mattress and I have that sleep data. And then I have the sleep data for each of the multiple weeks that I slept on the Lisa Casper and Tufta Needle mattresses. Like I said, I also took a few nights on that high-end Tempur-Pedic bed while my parents were out of town. And that mattress costs as much as all three of these and more combined. And it was very hot. Uh, it was very... St 
thick, even though you can adjust, it's just, uh, you don't need to spend that much money to get a great night's sleep, ultimately. Originally, I also wanted to talk about the technical details of each of these mattresses, the foam density and the types of materials they're made out of and what they looked like on the inside. I took the covers off and everything. I've got all this footage, but none of that matters. All that really matters is which mattress do you get the best sleep on? All three mattresses are delivered to your door. They're vacuum sealed, which you open up in the room that you want them in. Once you open them up, they become much more difficult to move. So if you are going to put it in an upstairs bedroom, keep it vacuum sealed to get it up there, which is one of the things that I found out when I opened one in my living room. Each of these mattresses are manufactured on demand in the USA. They do have like a manufacturing kind of synthetic smell out of the box, but that goes away very quickly. We opened three of them in one room and just after two or three days, the smell was completely gone. And as of today, you would never know that this was a mattress that came out of a vacuum sealed box. I tried my best to keep all the variables consistent between the mattresses as I was doing the test. I tried to keep my diet, my exercise, and my routines all very similar so that I wouldn't kind of throw off any of the data. As part of that consistency as well is each of these we just left on the floor of our bedroom as we were getting new furniture. And so each of these had the same lighting environment, same temperature environment, and they were all just put onto a hardwood floor in order to maximize the consistency that we had when we were testing these mattresses. I used the same 1,000 thread count sheets on each of the mattresses, so that was one less thing that I had to worry about, the same comforter and everything else. So every night we went to bed, I would take my sleep data, I would take notes for myself, and then I'd also ask my wife for some of her anecdotal data as we were sleeping on the mattresses. Here's what I found. Keep in mind, all this data is very subjective. Everybody sleeps a little bit differently, but each of these companies say that they make the one mattress that's perfect for everybody. So based on that premise, my findings should be similar to yours because even though we might sleep a little bit differently, because they make the perfect mattress, it should adjust to each different person's level of comfort, but that's all we'll see. First, we'll start with Elisa. It is the softest mattress out of these three companies. It has the most sinkage to it. When you lay on it, it doesn't exactly engulf you in foam and mattress, but it does have the softest properties out of the three mattresses. After the two weeks on it, I had the second best sleep out of the three from the Lisa mattress. I always shoot for that recommended eight hours of sleep every night, but also most importantly, is getting enough deep sleep so that I feel rested. The Tufton Needle is the most firm out of the three of them. It seems to have the highest density. It has the lowest transfer of motion out of all three of the mattresses. I got the worst sleep in my test with the Tufton Needle. There were multiple nights that I woke up after using the Tufton Needle that I just felt unrested, and that was probably my least productive time at work because I wasn't getting some great sleep. I survived the two-week test on the Tufton Needle. My wife did not. She jumped off after three days to return to the original mattress that we tested, which was the Casper. I don't know if it's any surprise, but the Casper is the best mattress that we tested by far. I slept the best, my wife slept the best, and like I said, she jumped off the Tufton Needle after a few nights to go back and sleep on the Casper because it was so comfortable. The Casper is very unique. It combines both of the best properties from the Lisa and the Tufton Needle. It has a very soft kind of top layer of foam like the Lisa. When you lay on it, you feel yourself go into the mattress a little bit, but then it takes the best parts of the firmness of the Tufton Needle. So after you sink just slightly in the Casper, you feel this really nice solid foam under bottom that really keeps you afloat and gives you very good support in the night. So it has that kind of pillow top like feel where you lay on it and it's very soft, but it has a very sturdy bottom, which kind of keeps you nice and comfortable as you lay on the mattress. Pulling on my sleep data here, I saw a 10 to 20% better deep sleep each night that I used the Casper versus the second best, which was the Lisa. And so over the Tufta Needle, I was seeing huge, huge improvement in my overall sleep by looking at uh, the sleep data. But even just not going on the sleep data, when I woke up in the morning on each of the mattresses, I always felt best when I was using the Casper and we're still using that mattress today after two years. And when I come back from traveling. I used to think that sleeping on some of these nicer Marriott hotel beds were some of the best sleep that I could get, but I always miss my Casper when I'm coming back from a road trip. So there you have it. Those are my findings for the mattresses. Since I did this video, there have been many other companies that have popped up making mattresses online. These were the three that were most popular back then. I did leave out a company, Sav Savta, because they offer three different tiers of firmness in the mattress, 
but these three companies offered what they said would be the one mattress to rule them all. Also in that time, the companies have expanded their product offerings. Casper now makes uh, sheets and pillows, everything else. I did do a pillow unboxing for Casper and I found those to be incredibly comfortable pillows. At this point, you can call me a Casper fanboy after two years of getting great sleep on their mattress and everything else. We do still have the other mattresses. My mother-in-law has the Tufts and Needle. She enjoys it, but I don't know if she knows how good the Casper is. Hopefully you found this video helpful as you're making your decision. I will put links to a few articles and podcasts in the description in order to give you a little bit more idea of this new mattress industry that we're entering. I truly think the best option right now is to pick up a mattress from one of these companies on the internet. Not only do you save money, you get a new superior product and in a lot of ways you get superior sleep. Please use any of those links below. Not only do you get a discount, but it supports the channel, keeps videos like this coming, and this is what I love to do. Thank you for taking the time to watch. I hope it helped, and until next time, gents, this is The Cavalier. I actually did have seven pages. Uh, I had construction notes on the foam density of each of these. So Casper, 1.5 inch latex memory foam, 1.5 inch of latex foam, 7 inch of high density poly foam, 4 pound foam density, Tufts and Needle, 2 pound foam density. Uh, you know, there's also other notes in here. You have 100 night trial for Casper, 100 night trial for Lisa, Tufts and Needle, 30 nights. Uh, Lisa gives, donates a mattress for everyone you buy. So there's a lot of stuff that uh, I wanted to cover, but it was a running joke between my wife and I because I would always say that uh, this weekend I'm, I'll record the mattress video, this weekend I'll do the mattress video. So I'm just happy to uh, mostly get it off my plate and hopefully help some people in the process.